awesome. Thank you so much. Quick pit stop, some gas station coffee. Let's give it a try. That is garbage. I don't even know how to describe how bad this is. I paid $3 for this. I can get the same contents if I just put a cup at the end of a sewer line. <laughs> this is this is bad. This is real bad. Sedona nice little quick pass through even though it took me three hours to get through there <laughs> uh, Sedona traffic man never gets old said that it does get extremely old finally to our final destination for this weekend and uh, I'm not gonna tell you <laughs> just kidding we are in Flagstaff up on Mount Humphreys this is the tallest peak in Arizona let's go explore a little bit though let's go meander and frolic through some aspen trees <laughs> These are like the classic carve your name into these trees. Maybe I should carve mine. Nah. It is so beautiful out here. So nice to get some fresh air, be back in the woods a little bit. Tons of aspen trees out here. Aspen trees aren't very common in Washington. So it's always cool to see them. Also, if I'm breathing hard, it's because I am. <laughs> Where I'm at right now is at 9,000 feet elevation. So, way higher up than I'm used to. In Washington, usually usually hiking in like the three to four to five range. But up here, it's 9,000 feet. And then the top of Humphreys is 12,000 feet. And the smells, the smells of this forest. So fresh, so pure. I wish I could just send those senses through the video for you guys. It's so good.
pretty cool seeing those aspen trees and getting out in the nature up here but now now i need to try to find a place that i'm going to sleep tonight because i have no idea holy frick now i need to find a place i'm going to sleep tonight because as of right now i have no idea i got a map from the u.s forest service people earlier and there's a lot of fire bands right now and so i'm trying to find a spot outside of those bands the map lays it all out um, there's a couple roads on there that I've, I scoped out that is outside of the fire ban area. So, so we'll go check out those spots and hopefully one of them will be our home for the night. So let's go check them out. We are to the first spot. So let's give it a look and see if we get lucky. Well, no luck in this road. Uh, every spot's already taken. So I'm gonna head across town to another road and fingers crossed that something's over there. Okay, we're on the second road now that I scoped out on the map. Like I said, fingers crossed we find something out here. It is looking slightly gloom right now, guys. <laughs> I probably should have scoped this out a lot better before I came up here, but that would be out of character for me. I, I tend to just send it and then figure out the details as I go. So <laughs> makes it for a funner adventure at least. But in moments like this, it can be a little stressful because it's a couple hours from sunset and I'm still looking for a place to sleep tonight. Still keeping hope, staying, staying positive. Another thing that I'm kind of disliking about uh, these roads out here, they don't have service out here. Don't come at me. If you're camping with friends, I get it. I agree. Not having service is definitely the move because it's just way better. But when you're completely alone and by yourself, after the sun goes down, it's completely darkness because there's literally no one to talk to. You're just sitting in your car by yourself in the middle of the night. So I'm man enough to admit that when I'm camping by myself, I don't mind having a little bit of service, okay? Don't attack me. But if I'm camping with friends or whoever else, if I have somebody with me when I'm camping, I definitely would prefer not having service, get away from the phones, just enjoy each other's company. But when you're completely alone, having service is kind of nice. <laughs> so, found a pretty cool spot. Beautiful, beautiful views. Mount Humphreys right there. And now that we have a spot, I'm gonna head back into town real quick and get some food for tonight. Then we'll come back here, settle in, and we'll be camping. Groceries have been attired. Attired? Grosh. Groceries have been acquired. Let's head back to the camping spot. It's about 30 minutes away. We should be there just in time for sunset. Settle in. We'll be camping, baby. home for the night guardian angels watching over me on this spot jesus is keeping me safe he has me covered in jesus name i declare it we're gonna be all right so yeah let's just settle in here enjoy this beautiful sunset that's about to happen and then we'll get the fire going and have some dinner and then just have a night man it's gonna be a good night oh and i think i might throw the drone up show you guys where i'm at
successful drone mission caught the sunset and it was a beautiful one at that mount humphrey's just popping off got the beautiful mountains right here and then the beautiful sunset and i'm just doing a little sunset stroll checking out the area and then uh after this we'll get some dinner it's beautiful out here all right let's make some grub So for dinner tonight, I'm boiling up some water and I got some protein oatmeal that I'll pour the water into. And uh, we'll just have a good hearty protein oatmeal dinner. Got the water boiling. This is the protein, just, just Kodiak oatmeal protein bowl. Pour a little bit of water in here. Stir it up and voila, dinner is served. <laughs> super easy, super simple, and it's really good. When I'm out camping, I tend to like to do just super simple dinners. Um, I don't mind cooking, but my setup isn't really the best for that. I'm pretty, I'm pretty tight in here in this vehicle, so it's it's a little harder for me to actually cook meals. Maybe one day I'll get to the point where I actually cook meals, kind of like Mav does on his YouTube channel, which Mav is a huge inspiration of mine. But for now, we'll just do simple protein oatmeal. Gets the job done, fills me up.
definitely don't need that much water, but I'll take it. Time for the best part. So good. No, we wasted coffee. Cheers. So good. And beautiful views to enjoy it with. Doesn't get much better than this. It's a beautiful, beautiful morning. Dude, this one fly, dude, I'm, I'm murdering this fly. I'm gonna murder it, dude. I'm gonna absolutely roundhouse its whole family. So I'm gonna enjoy this cup of coffee, do some Bible reading, enjoy the sunshine. So I think I'm gonna end the video here. Thank you guys for watching, thanks for joining me, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.